it is really difficult to predict how effective these vaccines will be. I am cautiously optimistic that we will get a safe and effective vaccine. However, we do know that many vaccines will fail. We could see a vaccine that is highly effective on some groups of people, but not as effective on other groups of people. And we need to all be prepared for this. A COVID vaccine might be more like a flu vaccine, where we, we, we need annual or seasonal jabs uh, and protection may only last for a year or two. And we really do need to all manage our own expectations on what a, a successful COVID vaccine could look like, because two years protection is still a huge step forward um, in, in controlling this pandemic. Without global collaboration, as we develop these, these vaccines and these tools and solutions, if we don't work together, we do risk duplicated effort, wasted money, and importantly, unequal access to these life-saving tools. With the bilateral deals and vaccine nationalism that we're hearing about, the concern is that this will lead to inequitable allocation of any safe and effective vaccines. With supply being secured by countries who um, have the most buying power rather than countries and people who are most at risk and in need. And until we're all safe and protected from COVID, we really are all still at risk. Fair access means that any safe and effective vaccine can and will be delivered to those who are most vulnerable or most at risk from COVID-19. And this is around the world, irrespective of whether people are able to pay for the vaccine or not. Having a safe and effective vaccine is absolutely critical. In a way, it's just the beginning because we need vaccination. We don't just need a vaccine. And this involves ensuring that we can manufacture a vaccine in the billions of doses and also ensure that immunisation programmes around the world in every country are ready and resourced to deliver a vaccine to those who are most at risk. Vaccines are just one tool uh, for dealing with this pandemic. They're not a silver bullet. A holistic approach is essential. Even if we do find a safe and effective vaccine, these vaccines may not provide full immunity or be fully effective. Uh, we don't know how long immunity might last for. Um, the rollout will be gradual because we know that initially there will be more demand than supply. And that's why we also need to look into treatments, diagnostics, public health measures, and fundamentally understand more and more about the disease through research.